Uh, are you a coach and you feel like everywhere you look, every good idea you've got, you're like, man, someone's already doing that. How am I going to compete? Maybe they've got better results than you. They're more experienced. And you're kind of second guessing yourself if you, can, if you can really compete in any of the good areas that you want to as a coach. So what is really useful if you're in that scenario is being able to stand out, giving people a reason, your clients to say yes to you and yes to now. Like why you and why now? We need to really deliver on that. And I want to teach you how you can do that in this training video, give you some tips to make that a reality. So I'm going to open up the laptop. We're going to dive in. I'm going to draw some things out that hopefully help you if you're in this situation of wanting to stand out as a coach. And if at any point in time you're enjoying this training, you want more from me, I give away tons of free trainings, giveaways, live sessions, coaching inside of my Facebook group. Nothing for sale. It's entirely free. You'll see up there in the corner little button or the link is in the description. You're able to join that at any time. would welcome you into that community. Anyway, I'm going to open up the laptop, share my screen with you. We've got some work to do, so let's dive in. So I've got four ways that you can stand out as a coach, which is uh, super, super useful to be able to do. So take notes on these four. They'll serve you well. At least commit them to your, um, your memory. So number one, so many people nowadays as a coach, their marketing is great, but their actual experience and results are very poor. You'll see this a lot, right? They'll be like, I offer this, I offer that, I do this, I do that. Big, big, big offer, 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 offer. I can do this. I, yeah, sure, I'll do anything. And then the reality when the client gets in is like, whoa, this is way worse than, than what I thought. Don't, don't be that guy or that girl. Okay, make sure that these two are equal to each other. Make sure that what you're putting out there in your marketing message is exactly what you're going to get people. So that when somebody comes in, they go, yep, yeah, this, is, this is what I'm after. Because if you do that, over time, people talk. Hey, this was a great experience. And they tell a handful of their people. And then these people were like, yep, yeah, great experience. And then now it grows and it grows. So what you have here is you have a whole bunch of people doing your marketing for you. Now that doesn't mean you can you know, not market at all. Maybe you can down the line, but this is always going to be helpful. And it's always going to allow you to stand out in the right way. I always remember that documentation, I'll put docu, it, it beats conversation. So, of course, you're going to say what you want to say about your business. You're always going to be positive. But when other people say it, that allows you to stand out in a really positive way. You know, you see these social media posts. Anybody know a coach who does this? When your name starts getting tagged and mentioned, you know you're doing something right. If you're not having that right now, you need to pick up the game uh, in terms of the experience and results that you offer your clients, okay? Number two, be super specific, okay? Think about if you wanted to be a personal development coach or a life coach, something like that, and that's all you said you did. I help people in personal development. Well, who are you against? Tony Robbins, Dean Graziosi, Brendan Bouchard, like all these big hitters who are decades ahead of you and massive followings, you're never going to break through that barrier. But if you suddenly said, hey, you know what? I help specifically, I don't know, men over 40 who are divorced, you know, recently divorced, you know, get, get their mojo back or whatever it may be. Now, now, how do these people actually, who do they go to? Do you know what I mean? Like, you're given the choice between a generalist or a specialist and a specialist always wins. Remember that because otherwise, you know, you need confidence, don't you? As a, to become a client of somebody, you need confidence. This is for me and this person gets me. They can help me. They can coach people like me. So if you're just going general, no one really pays attention. You water down your message. Okay. So make sure you're offering a, a proven solution for a hungry audience and it's super, super specific. And if you're worried about that, think how vast the World Wide Web is. Do you know what I mean? Like how many people can you reach with your marketing message? It's actually harder to find something that wouldn't be popular to coach. You probably have to put work in to find something that people, there wasn't enough people. There's just 7 billion of us on this planet. I'm sure even if it's something very specific, you're going to find at least, what, 10, 20, 30, 50,000 clients. And think about it. If you're charging two grand, five grand, 10 grand for coaching, and there's 100,000 people to go out, which would be considered a small audience, that's a lot of money you can make if you dominate that audience. We don't need massive numbers if we don't have a wasteful approach, which 
being specific, super specific isn't. Number three, be congruent. What do I mean by congruent? Well, a lot of people nowadays, they think about popularity first. I don't, I think about profit over popularity. And the way to get profit is to do what? It's to do this, it's to give results, it's to be specific, but it's also to stick to what, you, to stick to what you're good at. You know, what, what are you actually good at? What can you actually teach people and coach and transition them between? Don't just be going on social media and be like, one day you're like, oh, I believe in this. And the next day you're like, oh, I believe in that. Or you say all these silly political or religious or whatever things just to get engagement. People say, you know, um, any attention is good attention. They, they don't know our game. They don't know our industry. That's just a stupid quote that people like to say who can't control themselves because it gives them an excuse. Oh, any attention is good. No, you just need that attention. So because you can't go without it, you're making excuses through quotes. In reality, if I'm coming looking to be a client of yours and one day I see this and I'm like, that's exactly what I'm looking for. And the next day I say that and that's not what I'm looking for at all. I'm not becoming a client because when we see this confusion, a confused mind is a stuck mind. It doesn't take any decisions. It doesn't move forward. And you're going to be turning off more people than you're turning on by doing that. And it's amateurish. You know, I see people like, hey, what is, you know, I'm looking at getting one of these guys. What do you all think? Oh, come on. You're a grown woman or a grown man. You know what phone you're going to buy. You're just looking for a bunch of comments and likes. Be a professional. Do you know what I mean? If you need to do that stuff to get engagement, you need to have a look at your marketing. There's, you, there's better ways of getting stronger leads than doing that. Okay. Don't allow your stubbornness because someone said, oh, this is the way to do it to keep you in the dark. OK, make sure that you know your industry, you know, there's probably areas of your industry and what you coach where you're better than others. Do you know what I mean? Like you may be really good at working with these people when this particular solution, you may not be very good in this area. Don't try and combine the two. Don't try and say you can do both because then you end up, you know, imagine if you tried to step in between these two. Painful. This person's not happy. No, hands are down. Sad face. You know why? Because it just be when they've got one leg a lot longer than the other, but they're stretched out, straddling themselves. I, I, I've done this example before. Imagine if you're climbing. Remember, they see people to climb on a tightrope. It's hard work. You see that tightrope stuff, right? Now, imagine if they have two tightropes and these ropes are swinging all over the place, right? In all directions. That's you if you're trying to be everything to all people as a coach. Pick a group of people who you want to work with and what and teach them something, help them transition and transform in a way that you know you can and be congruent with that. You know, take my business, right? I focus around a handful of marketing methods. Everything points towards leverage. I'm like profit over popularity. Don't need to socially post. Don't need to prospect. Leads will come to you. Here's, you know, here's the methods to use that will compound and give you leverage. And yes, yeah, sure, you'll make a lot of sales, but you can make those sales in a way that is attractive to you. That's my messaging. That's what I do. You don't see me talking about doing cold calling. I haven't talked about that for years and years and years. You don't see me talk about that stuff. Why? Because I don't really believe in it. I don't like it. That's not success to me. Glued to a phone for four hours a day, getting stressed out is not success to me for any amount of money. So I drew a line in the sand. I... I picked the skills that made sense to me that I was good and excelled at. And that was, that's what I teach to other people, other business owners. I don't try and just pick up an extra sale here and there with something that I'm not on board with. And you shouldn't either. Okay. So there we go. Deliver great results. Be super specific. Be congruent. And then, you know, make sure that you are also being open to the fact that you may have shortcomings in, in different areas. You know, you may be better in one area than another. Stick to that. That will work really well. I've actually combined three and four. Three and four have gone together there in that congruent section. So anyway, I hope that was useful. If it was, give me a like so I know to do more of this content. If you're a coach, which I hope you are watching this video, then you're welcome to my Facebook group where I give away a lot of bonus training. You'll see a little eye in the top corner and the links in the description. And uh, I hope this has been really useful for you. As I always say, go create a day in a life that counts. Always have more desires and excuses. I hope to see you over in that group. If, if you do join that group, I will message you individually to let you know you're in. And it's free. There's no, there's no spam in there. There's no one pushing their offer on you, anything like that. Um, no one's allowed to promote anything in there. It's all about me helping you do better in your coaching business. And because I message you individually, if you have a question for me, you want to know something specific to your business in private, 
there's a great opportunity for you to do that right there and there. Anyway, I will hopefully speak to you soon. Whatever you're doing, have a fantastic day. If you're a subscriber, I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.